Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to create an artist pastiche. A pastiche is an artistic work in the style of a particular artist. This should not be an exact copy, but your own work using that artist's style. For example, I will look at the artist Freya Jobbins. From completing the process section of my research, I know that the artist works in the media of 3D sculpture using doll parts and toy parts. Her theme is to create collages using the parts of dolls to create her portraits. Looking at the examples here, you will see on the left is the famous artist Frida Kahlo. The detail on this sculpture is created using features from small dolls such as Barbies to create the hair, you can see that the shoes have been used to add colour. And on the right, we have the famous cartoon character Bart Simpson, and his features are made up using figures of the characters from the show. When you look at the artist you have chosen, you will need to see what are the themes of that artist, what do they primarily do to create their work, and what media do they use. When you are creating your pastiche, you do not have to stick to the same media. If you're working in the same style, you can create your work using, for example, pencil, oil pastel, paint. You can create a collage or even a digital collage. As I don't have lots of dolls to dismember, to create a 3D sculpture, I'm going to use an alternative media. If you do wish to create a digital collage, you can use this link to see how to create a Photoshop digital collage. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can use a free app called Pixel R, which has very similar icons and tools to Photoshop. So you should be able to transfer the skills you learn from the YouTube video using that free app. When you begin your artist pastiche, no matter what media you decide to use, you will need to begin with a basic outline of the image you are creating. If you're doing this in a digital format, you may wish to use your own outline that you have uploaded or Google image depending on what you are creating. For this, I'm simply using an outline using pencil. Work as lightly as you can. So if you do make any mistakes, you can rub them out easily and rub out any guidelines. Remember, if you're working on portraits, remember the rules of portraiture and where each feature should be on the face. If you're creating a cartoon, some of these features will be exaggerated, like the example here, exaggerated eyes and lashes and the points of the chin and the cheek. Remember, don't be too precious about these outlines as when you adapt it to work in the style of the artist, these will all change, which is again why we work lightly as you may not see these initial outlines. Once you're happy with all the features, you'll begin by adding the artist style. For example, here I've used a foot for the nose and ears for the lips. I'll then look back at the artist's work regularly to check on the artist's style and recreate that in this pastiche. So for example, in the artist's work, she uses doll shoes for eyebrows, hands for little, little features, and shadowed areas. She has used doll's cheeks for the actual cheeks 
and different body parts to make up the overall face. Just play around with this. Remember, you can make changes as you go along. Here I'm creating some eyelashes in the form of doll's hands. And then when you're happy with the overall outline, you can go on to add form and texture using different media. If you only have pencil to work with, you can do this in pencil using the shading techniques that we have practiced. Or if you do have pencil crayons or any other media, you can create your pastiche in colour. If you do have any questions, please email me or send me a message via Show My Homework.